Some will say 945. 945. We are dismissed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, you thank you to the Lord for He is good and His mercy endure forever today. Amen. July 2nd. We are in the second unit of our Sunday school. We say praise the Lord, everybody, once again. Amen. Responding to God's kingdom. This particular quarter has been with Christ. Proclaim the kingdom. Amen. And today we are going to talk about prayer. Amen. 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 How many know that prayer is important? Amen. 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 Prayer is important. It is Amen. what about keeps us connected to the Lord. Amen. Uh, praise God. It is an opportunity. Amen. To talk to God. God gives us an opportunity to have an audience with him. Amen? Amen? And guess what? We don't have to make an appointment. Praise the Lord. We ain't got to do it on a set time or set day. Anytime that we need to talk to the Lord, he is there. Amen? Amen. And that is a privilege that we have as saints of God. Amen? Amen. That's, that's, that's what he's given to all men. Amen. The ability to reach out to him uh, in that time to speak to him. Amen? And do what he does best. Be God. So today our going text is, uh, when ye pray, say our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven, so in earth. Luke 11, yeah. chapter 11, verse 2. Amen. Today we're going to talk about uh, four things, the need for prayer, the pattern for prayer, the persistence in prayer, and the foundation for prayer. Amen? Amen. 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 So I uh, hope you have some, something to say today. Amen. I don't want to do all the talking today because I want to hear what you have to say about some things. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Because this is class, and in class we have active, amen, and productive dialogue uh, from amen. the teacher, amen, and those who are sitting in the audience or class. So let's read verse number one, Luke 11 and 1, amen, and talk about that. Amen? The need for prayer. Let's read verse one. He says, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. So here we see that the disciples are watching Christ. Amen. And they are seeing what he is doing. Praise God. Amen. And they are, 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 are following his pattern. Amen. It says he was praying in a certain place. We know that Jesus prayed in certain places. But then there was times where Jesus would steal away and pray. Amen? Amen. Amen. So with that one thing that, that speaks to my heart this morning, I'd like to hear your comment on this, is that there's times where I need to pray together corporately. Amen. Amen. But then I also need to have a personal and pray, a personal prayer life Amen. apart from being in the midst of the congregation. Amen. Amen. Anybody agree, disagree Amen. this morning? Amen. Amen. I agree. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody have anything to say about that? Anyone? Praise the Lord. Yes, bless this queen. Yes. Um, when we when we pray um, corporately, as you said, um, that's how we gain gain strength. We get encouragement. Um, we get to talk to each other, and you know, to find the needs of others. You know, to help them. And when we pray um, alone. We're praying to God for certain things, and we have to be specific about what uh, we're praying for and to get closer to him. In a group, you can get close to him, but personally, you get closer. Amen. That's my opinion. Amen. Anybody else is good. Anybody else? What about the difference? We, we have to have corporate prayer, and we also have personal times to pray unto the Lord. Amen? Thank you. You mentioned it this morning, yeah, Daphne. Yeah. You know, you said this morning that... It says, out his house is, is a house of prayer. And when we pray as a corporate, uh, you know, it, it strengthens us, uh, unity. And so, you know, uh, we can never get enough prayer. And so we also, like you said, we have to have our own little prayer closet. Mm -hmm. Nor normally, uh, most people might do it when they first wake up in the morning. Right. But there's no set time, like you said. Some people do it while they drive it. Right. But I guess what I'm trying to sum it up and saying is that we must have prayer in our life. Amen. 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 We must have prayer in our life. And it was, it was so impactful and so purposeful that Jesus did not, you know, Jesus told his disciples a lot of things, right? Yeah. But this time the disciples, what, came to him. Amen. And they said, Lord, what, teach us to pray. 
So that tells us right there that we have to have what kind of spirit? A teachable spirit. Yeah. We have to be able to receive what God has for us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We have to be able to be instructed. We have to be able to be led. We have to be able to be uh, uh, directed. And watch this. We also have to be able to correct when we are taught something that is right and we have been doing something the wrong way. Amen. Amen. That's the hardest thing about teaching. Amen. Is that I, when I'm learning some things, you know, uh, 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 I've already thought I know how to do something. Right. And then when the word comes, it tells me that I'm doing something wrong. wrong. Mm -hmm. And I have to have enough humility. Help us, yes. Jesus. I said, help us, Jesus. <laughs> to be able to make a self-correction. And that's really one of the most hardest things when it comes to being a Christian. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because we've lived life before we became part with God, right? Amen. And we've learned how to manage certain situations in our lives. Amen. Sometimes we manage them with these, don't we? Amen. Or we manage them with this, don't we? Yeah. But we found out, praise God, the way I'm managing it is not lying with God's word. Amen. So I have to ask God to do what? Give me some humility, amen, amen to be able to change my methodology. Amen. 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 Anybody like the same thing about that? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So, so, so the Lord, that's what prayer does. The prayer conditions our heart. Prayer conditions our mind, and then when it conditions our heart and conditions our mind, it will affect our behavior. Amen. 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 And that's what we want. We want. We want to walk like Christ, be like Christ. Amen. Do what Christ does. But we all we have all this stuff we learned mm -hmm. prior to coming to Christ. Amen. Go ahead, Dee. yes, sir. Yeah, Pastor, and also, you know, uh, you shouldn't have a big head. I mean, when somebody's trying to tell you something or trying to show you something. You should ask God to give you uh, a, a, a sweet spirit, a joyful spirit, so you can, can, can take in what somebody's trying to tell you and show you. Amen. Be able to, again, have a sweet spirit, be able to hear, amen, praise God, what God has said. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says that when you uh, rebuke a wise man, you gain a friend. Mm -hmm. Amen. You rebuke a fuel, you gain an enemy, basically. <laughs> you know, wisdom speaks of being able of being able to correct, mm -hmm. amen, the mistakes and the things that I am making. Amen? Mm -hmm. So he says, teach us to pray. That means that they want to know what God is saying. Amen. And they also said, look, John was doing it. Mm -hmm. We want to do it also. Amen. Okay. John had taught his disciples to pray. Amen. And we know that John's ability to teach his disciples was what? That we have to what? We have to have total dependence on God. Amen. And we're going to talk about that a little later, amen, in the lesson. But we, prayer helps us to depend on the Lord, amen, in multi, multi-faceted, multi-different situations that, that come up in our lives. Amen. amen. He says, so, so Jesus was inclined to teach him, was he not? Amen. Amen. He says, he said, and he said unto them, one asked, but he taught all of them. Y'all see that? Amen. So one, the, the Bible doesn't say which disciple asked, but it said one of his disciples asked him. And I believe that it pleased God that they were inclining about the things of, of, the, of, the, of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Anytime we ask God that we have an a, a honest and sincere interest in the things of God, I believe the Lord is willing to show those that information to us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen? Amen. 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 And he, and let's read verse 2. So now that is, there is a need for prayer. Now we need to look at, praise God, the patterns for prayer. And he says in verse, let's read verse 2. Everybody have it? Amen. 11 and 2, he says, And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as it is in heaven, so it is in heaven. Earth. So here, Jesus is letting them know that this is not just a generic prayer, prayer to pray. It is a pattern to pray. Amen? Amen? The first thing he said is do what with God? Honor God for who he is. Amen. Amen. He says, and then he says, also speak to God as our what? Father. Yes. Amen? Amen? Remember, a father has three jobs. To lead, to provide, and to protect. Yes. Amen. So he's letting us know if you need to be led or know something, pray to God. Amen. If you need protection, pray to God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you need, amen, provision, pray to God. Amen. amen. He's trying to let them know. Praise God. Let them know that that is the mindset 
that, but if he is our father, then we are sons and daughters of him. Yeah. That means that a son or daughter is really designed to submit to the father. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in the Old Testament, honor, and the Ten Commandments, honor thy mother and father, yeah. that thy days may be long. Amen. So when we honor God, praise God, as our father, amen, we are submitting to him, amen, as sons and daughters, amen, looking to him to meet our needs. Amen. 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 He says, look, he says, he says, let them know, praise God, he is not where we are. He's in heaven. Amen. Amen. He said, he's in heaven, he's high above us. Praise God. Amen. And he also lets them know that he is separate from us. Hallowed be thy name. God is holy. God is sanctified. Amen. God is set apart. But yet he still gives access to him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. He's letting us know, praise God, that, that we, and we know this. And guess what? We have to teach this and we have to declare this, amen, that though Abraham called him friend, though Jesus is the firstborn of many brothers, amen, God is still high and God is still holy. Amen? amen. amen. And he is still, amen, praise God, the greatest thing happening in the universe. Amen. Uh, the Lord Almighty. And we have to recognize him as that. Praise amen. God. Put him in his proper perspective. Amen. Give him the honor and glory that is due his name. Amen. He says, amen. Then he says, once we do that, then we need to pray. We have to pray, Lord. Let what come? Let your what? Let your kingdom come. Amen. And thy will be done as in, as in heaven, so let it be done in the earth. Amen. Here, God is using Jesus to let us know that God's will is still the most important thing happening in the universe. Amen. The will of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, when we look at the will of God, what is the will of God for us? The will of God for us, praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, 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 Paul puts it like this. The first thing about the will of God for us is to give praise and thanks in, the all, in, in all things. Amen. Amen. The first thing that God speaks about his will is that he, we have to have the right attitude. Uh -huh. You know, giving thanks and praise in all things deals with our attitude mm -hmm. and our disposition. Amen? Amen. When we are a son and daughter of God, and we know that God will meet our needs, mm -hmm. praise the Lord, mm -hmm. we ought to have a disposition Praise God of depending on God and have an attitude of gratitude when the Father begins to work in our favor. Amen. 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 Praise God. And He tells us that this is the disposition that we have to have when we're praying and seeking God. He amen. tells us, Amen, that His that, that that Thy kingdom come, Amen, and His kingdom, praise the Lord, is going to come. And remember, Jesus came preaching. Jesus came preaching the kingdom. Yes. Praise the Lord. Let, let the kingdom of God be, be done in our life. The kingdom of God for the time now, praise the Lord, is that men might be saved. Amen. And that God, that, that Jesus Christ is coming. He's come once, he's coming again. Yeah. Praise the Lord. For the salvation of men's hearts. Amen. And men's souls. God's uh, desire is that no man perish, but that every man come to repentance. Mm -hmm. This is the will of the kingdom of God. Amen. The will of the kingdom of God is to, is, is to know, praise the Lord, that men ought to be saved and men ought to dwell in the presence of God and give God a praise and give the glory. Now, this is what's happening in heaven. In heaven, amen, the praise and the worship is steadily going on. The honoring God is steadily going on. The only time we find out in heaven where this, where this was abruptly stopped was when Lucifer raised his head up against God. Yeah. And then when that happened, God expelled them out of heaven to continue with the praise and worship of that is due his name. Amen? Amen. And what happens is, is that that came to the earth, and now the adversary, praise God, is trying to stop the praise and the worship and the honor of God in the earth. Amen. 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 The Paul calls him the power, amen, and the prince uh, uh, the principality of the air in his atmosphere. Amen. 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 Praise God. That's why, church... Praise the Lord. When praise and worship service comes, praise God. The devil does not want that to happen. Amen. Praise God. He'll let a run come up in your stocking. Oh, why y'all look at me like I'm saying, like I'm talking something you don't know. Amen. Praise the Lord. You accidentally left the light on when you got out the car last night and the car won't start. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. You walk into church and you think somebody look at you the, the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. He's going to use whatever he can to keep the praise 
from going forth. Yeah. Amen? Praise God. And this is what God's will is, is that the praise of God go forth in the earth. The Bible says the heavens, amen, declare the glory of God. All nature declares God and, and who he is. Praise the Lord. And this is the will of God, that the praise of God go forth. Because when we praise God and the praise of God goes forth, God's presence moves, praise the Lord, in our midst. Amen. And he knows how to fix all our problems. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. He says, and did, but, but, our, but we have to pray this. Praise God. Because we know that uh, uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Yes. Amen. But they're what? Mighty through God through the pulling down of strongholds. We have to know, praise God, that we are in a spiritual battle. Amen. Amen. And not just in not just in a battle with flesh. And so when we're in a spiritual battle, we have to use spiritual tools. And one of the most effective spiritual tools we have is prayer. Amen? Amen. Any questions, comments from anybody right here? Anyone? Amen. We have to pray the kingdom of God come. Amen. And we're operating in the kingdom of God right now. Amen. Looking for the return of Christ. Looking for the move of God. Looking for the saving of men's souls. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And you know what Jesus said? Seek ye first what? The kingdom of God, right? Yeah. And his righteousness, right? And all these other things shall be what? Added yeah. unto me. Too many times a day, men's heart, praise God, is seeking after all the things that should be added unto thee, except seeking the, before seeking the kingdom of God. Yeah. God has given us proper protocol. God has given us proper uh, 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 perspective on what should, on what is to come first. Mm -hmm. Though we want the houses, we want the cars, we want the natural blessings. Amen. Because God, amen, Abraham was rich, church. Joe was rich, praise God. These men were rich men, but guess what? They sought the kingdom of God first. Amen. And the Lord is showing us, amen, if we just seek the kingdom of God first, this other stuff he can add to us, and it won't affect us, amen, to stop seeking the kingdom. Whether I'm rich or whether I'm poor, I got to seek the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. amen? Praise God, whether I got a lot or got a little, I need to seek amen. the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we have to know, church, that we have to have our mind set on heaven and not on this earth. Yes. Praise God. And we have to pray His will be done as it already happened in heaven and let it come to pass in the earth today. Amen. 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 Any questions, comments? Anybody? All right. Hallelujah. He says, look, he says, so when you're praying, pray this. Pray, pray, um, Father, honor me for who I am. Pray my will be done. Yeah. And now he says, what? Let your petitions be known unto him, right? Yeah. He says, what? Let's read verse 3. Give us, Amen. give us day by day our what? Day. Daily yeah. bread. He tells us that we need to depend on God. Amen. Daily bread speaks to what? Substance Amen. and sustenance that is needed to make it to the next day. Amen. The Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. We're going to be glad and what? Rejoice in it. We live, church, no matter how much we try, we still live day by day. Amen. Yesterday's gone. We really we don't know what tomorrow's going to hold. Amen. As a matter of fact, we don't even know what's going to happen three hours from now. Amen. So we have to trust God that the Lord is going to keep us what? Day by day. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. Yeah, go ahead, Dee. And, and when I was reading that, I, I, it, my mind reflected back on what last week's lesson when the disciples were uh, sent out by two. Yes. They were told also, that, you know, depend on, you know, don't take anything with you, but depend upon me. Right, you know, and then the prayer for for them is the same. Right, uh, and and now, but that's the prayer for us today. Is right, we depend on Christ daily. Right, and then we we always say that you know we get new mercies every day. Yeah, so we don't really hold on to what we had yesterday too long. Right, because God is is, is, is a, 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 a he's constantly moving. Right, and and blessing us. And we keep saying the song, he keeps on blessing us. And, and, and God, God is all given God. And yes. We're constantly changing and evolving in him. So, Amen. But I just wanted to, you know, just to say that yes. message. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. Any other quiet comments right there for anyone? Give us, go ahead and get sir in the back. Yeah, Pastor. So also, that God give you uh, new blessings every day. He, he give you mercy every day. You should just do what you're supposed to do and uh, follow his will. 
Amen. Amen. He does do that every day, church. So, you know, every day we have to give God the glory every day. We can't not let a day go by where we can't give God praise. Amen. 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 Praise God. Please don't let your praise on Sunday expect it to last all week long. No, we don't. Amen. Your praise on Sunday is supposed to help you praise him more during the week. Amen. 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 Giving God praise and thanks for everything that he's doing. Amen. Ultimately, everything we have, God has given us. Amen. Whether we believe it or not, as a matter of fact, the next breath he, he's given us. Amen. Because cause, cause let him take your next breath. You think, you look, whoa, you're like, what's, up? what's going on? <laughs> praise him. Let your heart do a little pig pat. you be like, hold on, Lord, you need to fix this. There's things that God gives us we don't even think about. Amen. Yeah, yeah, I saw you. Ms. Down, yes, go ahead. No, no, I was just thinking about this scripture that said, man, you have to always pray. Yes. Pray continue. Amen. Men have to always pray and not to faint. Because if you keep on praying, you won't be faithful. And faith, faith speaks to being overwhelmed by your current situation. Amen. Amen. So the Lord is telling us the way that you don't allow your current situations to overwhelm you is, be, to, is to be actively connected through prayer with God. <clears throat> Go and praise the Lord. Uh, that Remember what God said in his word. When your heart is overwhelmed, what? Lead me to a rock that is higher than I. Amen. Give me some stability in the midst of uncertainty. And church, I think that's the spirit of the age. Ever since COVID has hit, even before COVID, praise the Lord, there's been a sense of uncertainty going on in our, in our society. Amen. amen? This sense of uncertainty. Amen. And, and we're living, amen, these lives, praise God, in an uncertain world. Yeah. And a, we don't know what's going to happen from one day to the next. Now, amen. Praise the Lord. Anything's possible to happen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And we have to know that that rock that he's speaking about is the certainty, amen, and the promise that God has given us that he'll keep us in the midst of this uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, Pastor. Also, uh, we take things for granted. We just think that the Lord's supposed to wake us up every morning. He's supposed to give us strength. He's supposed to keep our heart beating. But that's not so. Uh, you got to pray and ask the Lord to take you day by day, like you were saying. I mean, you just can't expect uh, the Lord just to grant you these things because you're here. Right. It don't work that way. Right. So. Amen. And that's why we have to look at God every day. You know, we, we can take God for granted. We, you know, I, I always like to say, I thank God, praise the Lord. You know, a lot of times we don't look at it like this, but I look at it like this. I thank God that things are not worse than what they are. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know that's a probably a, a kind of different way of looking at things, but you know what? Things can be always, those things are, some things are not going well, mm -hmm. and some things are bad. Guess what? They can always be worse. Mm -hmm. worse but thank God though, that the sustainability of God is actively in my life. Okay. Amen? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. He says, give us this day our, what, our daily mm -hmm. prayer, Lord. Mm -hmm. I need to depend on you for mm -hmm. my strength, my health. Amen. Mm -hmm. Every single day. Mm -hmm. Then he says what? Forgive us what? Our sins. He says, first I'm going to meet your natural needs, and then I'm going to meet your spiritual needs, right? Amen. He says, verse 4, give, forgive us our sins, right? Mm -hmm. As we also forgive each and every, everyone that is indebted to what? To us. Yeah. Amen. He speaks of sin as something that is indebted to God. Mm -hmm. Sin, praise the Lord. Amen. Indebted, amen, means that there is a penalty or a price mm -hmm. on our hands. Mm -hmm. We owe God something. Mm -hmm. amen? amen. And guess what? We can't pay God for our sin. Mm -hmm. Our sins have to be what? Forgiven. Mm -hmm. Or otherwise known as abated. Amen. Mm -hmm. Or removed. God has to give us credit where there is no credit. Mm -hmm. You know, credit is about something that is that really isn't there. Amen. When you get a credit card, that's not real. <laughs> that's not real money. But you pay real money when you when you put some on it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> but the credit itself is not real. It's credit. You you your the, 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 the confidence and your history or whatever else has told the bank, I'm going to extend you so much grace. That's why when you gotta pay that credit card, it's called a grace, period. Mm -hmm. Praise them. Amen. 
amen, credit card all in the Bible. Y'all need y'all know that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. And guess what? And if you don't pay it off in, at the end of the month, all of all, guess what? Now, praise the Lord, you have an interest on it. Amen? amen. So what, what has happened is that sin has put, amen, indebtedness on our bill with God. Yeah. Yeah. And the blood of Christ, praise, praise the Lord, amen, has not, has paid the price for our indebtedness. Amen. The blood of Christ has Amen. washed away what? All our sins. Amen. Amen? Amen. And when we understand that we are indebted to God, praise the Lord, it will cause us to have a different perspective about what he's doing in our lives. Amen. And he says, do this what? He says, Lord, forgive us of our, of our sins. Yeah. And then he says, praise the Lord. Amen. When we pray to have God to forgive us of our sins, then we have to praise God. Amen. Forgive those who are indebted to us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, we have to know because God has forgiven us, we have to have the ability to forgive other people around us. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? Let me say something now right here. Your sin, praise God, that God has forgiven is greater than what anybody's ever done against you. Amen? amen? amen. And God forgave you of your sin. Amen. So you have to find it in your heart to forgive others when God has forgiven you the greater the greater debt. Amen. Because the person that says sin against me may have just hurt my feelings. Yeah. It may have just be a natural thing. But when God forgives me, this is something that's, that's affecting my eternal destiny. Mm -hmm. Amen. Y'all see your hand? Yes. <laughs> no, I, I, I always uh, say, uh, Lord, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Amen. <laughs> Praise him. And that's good. You have, to let, you have to ask God to forgive folks. Lord, help me to forgive folks. You know, and forgiving is just like God did for us. Forgiveness of sins is release from sin. Amen. And you have to let you have to release people. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And one way that you you that, that sometimes you say you forgive them, but guess what? You haven't released them mm -hmm. is when you come in contact with them or you think about them and you still feel the same way. Amen. You've forgiven them, but have you really forgiven. released them? Amen. Releasing them is allowing them yeah. to go from that thing that they mm -hmm. did up to you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Dick. Yes. Yeah, Pastor, I was just sitting there thinking. People say, I forgave you, but I, I'm not going to forget. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but guess what? What does God do with ours? With ours? He, oh, he forgives. He forgives and forgives. And forgives. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. He, the Bible says he puts them behind him and he remembers them what? No more. The only way that God remembers stuff that we've done is that we bring it back up again. Amen. Praise him. So, so when God has, who the Son has set free, it's free indeed. You don't have to walk, you have to think about that stuff anymore. Amen. Walk in faith because faith is what? About things what? Things what? Hope for. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Now faith is the stuff that's your hand. Now faith is the stuff that things what? Hope for. The, the evidence of things what? Not Unseen. So when God washes me, God forgives me, God cleanses me, uh, as, my, as my godmother say, I got to get that behind me. <laughs> I can go on. Yes, that's all I am. Yes. Yeah, I, I just had a situation where I had a bench <coughs> that came against me. Yes. And I was, like you said, every time I saw her, it did something to me. Right. And it was, a, it was um, someone that came in and talked to me, and she was like, niece? Until you can pray for her like you pray for your soul, then you know God did it. Right. And you truly forgave her. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you've got to get to that point. And when I did that, well, I just left. I see it now. I'm like, all right. Yeah. I kind of keep going. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And guess what? That's what the Lord wants us to be able to do. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, people are going to bring offenses to us in our lives. Amen. Mm -hmm. One way or another, we're going to be offended. Amen. Amen. And we have to be able to release those things off people. And guess what? The release is really not for them. Right. Me releasing them is actually to keep my spirit free. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? To keep me, praise God, in the right place with God. I, I cannot walk around locked up, tied up, tangled up in bitterness, anger, uh, felt like I've been treated in unjustly, praise God. Amen? Because I won't let somebody go. Amen. But sooner or later, we're going to need somebody to let us go to. Amen. Amen? 
So why not, praise God, release somebody else so that God can release them? Amen. Amen? And God is greater than anything we can do. Amen? And that's what he's talking about. He's talking about conditioning our hearts. And guess what? As Sister Minister Denise said, it takes reliance on God to let some people go. Amen. Okay. Say, Lord, you have to give me some strength. <laughs> but guess what? I'm going to do what your word says. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. That's why the Bible says greater. Come on, somebody know where I'm going, don't you? Mm -hmm. Greater is he where? That's in me. When I wouldn't do it, God, the God inside of me steps up and brings it to pass. Amen. Because I know if, if you don't know you, you know you better than anybody else. Amen. And you know if it was you, praise the Lord, Amen. you wouldn't let him go. Amen. But God said, let him go. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He says, look, he says, look, and, and the, he says, uh, forgive us, everyone that's in debt, and lead us not into what? Temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, lead us not into the things that are get us tied up and tangled up, amen, by the ways and the opportunities that happen in our flesh. Amen. amen. My bishop used to say, pray to God to keep you out of circumstances, amen. then to pray to God get you out of that circumstance. Amen. Lord, pray that I might avoid it all together. Amen. The Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Prayer helps to keep our order, our steps ordered by God. Amen. 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 The, thy word shall be a what? A lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. He's speaking, praise the Lord, these things that will cause us to do things that are not pleasing to God. Because he says right here, he says what? It's, it's based on what the adversary is trying to do to us. Amen. Lead us not to temptation, but what? But deliver us from what? From Evil. Lord, keep me from the hands and, and keep me hedged from the works of the adversary. Amen? Amen. Praise God. We know that the Lord keeps us hedged. Yes. I think it's important to, you know, I, uh, he says a good man steps the order by the Lord. But I still say uh, over my children, I say, Lord, make them a good man. Help, help them accept to be ordered by you. Help them to listen to you. Amen. You know, so. Keep them out of trouble so they stay out of trouble. That's right. Yeah. Because when they stay out of trouble, you ain't got to deal with it. Yes. Yeah. Praise them. Pray that our children stay out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Pray that, 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 that God keeps them in perfect peace. Because yeah. mm -hmm. that their mind and, and help their mind stay on these. So I got to stay out of that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because mm -hmm. we all have a heart for our children. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And and the enemy knows how if he can't get us directly, he'll work through our children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But we have to pray that that, that, that that he deliver us from evil, from the things that keep trying to creep into our lives, amen, that are unnecessary, amen, and praise God, almost certain, praise God, that the, that the adversary is trying to get us all tangled up. Do you not know that the enemy's after all of us? Mm -hmm. Do you really know that? you really know that you have an adversary called the devil? Yeah. And he's trying everything he can. To get you locked up, tied up, tangled up, and whatever he can to keep you from doing the will of God. Yeah. Amen? That's why I praise the Lord when he shows up, when the enemy, when the enemy tries to come in like a flood. We have to pray to the Spirit of the Lord, raise up a standard against us. Keep us, amen. Keep our hearts, keep our minds, keep our spirit in the midst of, of, of trials and tribulations. Yes. And he tried to distract you from praying. Amen. Everything can to distract you from praying. Amen. He'll, he'll do whatever he can. Praise the Lord. You got your prayer time, and then, then, then when you try to pray, then every, you know your friend ain't, you ain't heard from for a few years. Want to give you a call and talk to you then. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Whatever he he can do to keep your heart and mind off the things of God. Amen. And guess what? He don't want you to get way off. He just wants you to be a little bit off. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. He he's slick. He's smooth. He's cunning. Mm -hmm. He knows just what how to get you. Off kilter, mm -hmm. off focus. Mm -hmm. We have to pray, Lord, help me to identify these attacks of the adversary yeah. and help me stay focused on the things that are really true yeah. in my life, which is none other than doing the will of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. He said, look, so, so these are the things that he tells us to pray for. Amen. Uh, in the midst of uh, the patterns of prayer, this is a pattern of prayer, amen, that we pray, amen, about when we, when we address God. And Christ has given us this access 
to God. I want us to really take that into thought. That we 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 take it, I think sometimes we take it for granted that we have access to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords of the universe. Now we know when we have a complaint with a company, we ain't gonna talk to the CEO about that complaint. You gotta talk to customer service, right? And customer service is about ten to twelve levels below the CEO of management. Right? Mm -hmm. But guess what? God has given us. God has given us access to the top office in heaven. And that is a great piece of access that we have to utilize in order to get our task accomplished. God has not passed us off to somebody else. Amen. Amen. Amen? Praise God. Amen. He deals with our situations and circumstances himself. And I want us to understand, church, it does not work like that in any other corporation in this world unless you know them personally. Mm-hmm. Amen? Mm-hmm. But God gives us access to him and him alone to deal with our problems. And we have to give God praise and know that we are, we are we're sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen? Mm-hmm. Amen. Look what he says in verse. So, so here, these are the patterns of prayer. Now he's telling us to do what? Be what? Persistent in prayer. Mm-hmm. Just because you didn't get it the first time, don't stop praying. Amen? We have to be persistent, and we have to be cons- consistent and persistent. Amen. Amen. He says in verse 5, And he said to them, which, he, which of you shall have a friend, and he shall go unto him at midnight, and shall go unto him at midnight, and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine is in, in his journey is come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. And he said, from within shall, shall answer and say, trouble me not. The door is now shut, and my children are, are with me in bed, and I, can, I cannot rise and give I thee. So this is a situation that has happened. So Jesus is talking about persistence. Somebody needs something, right? Yeah. They need something, amen, that creates an a, 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 a inconvenience, really, for you. Praise God. That's what Jesus is saying, right? Man's come. <coughs> you know, at this time, people would come. They didn't have hotels. People would stay with family and friends up to a destination. Mm-hmm. People traveled at night because it was hot during the day. Mm-hmm. Amen? People, praise the Lord, amen, would knock on doors. Amen? And then the custom was, it was expected you would open up and then allow them to come stay with you. Most of these houses were either one or two rooms. So praise the Lord. Everybody had their own bedroom. Everybody kind of slept in the same what? Area. Mm-hmm. Amen. So this is what he's saying. He's talking about my feet are, my children are here, my feet are covered. Amen. And I'm not going to rise. But Jesus says something. Look what he says in verse 8. But I say unto you, look what Jesus said. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend. Amen. Amen. Yet because of his uh, in, opp- in, in importunity, he will rise and give him many as he needed. Now watch this. He said, praise God, this man, praise God, was not going to get up. But because he holds him in a particular uh, uh, classification as his friend. You know, a friend is only a friend when you need one. Amen. We can say we got a lot of friends, don't we? Yeah. But a friend is only a real friend when they show up at your need. Amen. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. <laughs> Everybody know they got some different level of people that you know you can depend on. And others, you know, well, you know, it's suspect. <laughs> or, you, or, or you know, anytime they call on you, you there for them. Anybody got any no kind of friends? Yeah. And then when you make a call, Uh-oh. all of a sudden, their phone don't work. <laughs> all of a sudden, their text messages won't return when you already saw that they read it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> But Jesus said, because he was persistent in asking. Yeah. An opportunity means is a word in the Greek that means that he kept on asking to receive what he needed. Yeah. And what Jesus is teaching us, church, is that he wants us to make sure that we really want what we're trying to go after. Amen? Amen? Some things that we're going after are really not really that important. Mm-hmm. So we don't put much effort towards it. We may ask God, Lord, I, I want this, I need that. And then guess what? It goes away. 
But when we really need something, guess what? We're going to keep on asking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what God is saying, and what Jesus is saying, is that we have to continue to ask God, amen, about us knowing that we really in our heart need that. Some people may say, well, why do I keep asking God when God knows I need something? The Lord wants to make sure that that's exactly what you're trying to go after. See, so many times that, praise God, we think we're waiting on God, God's waiting on us. God's waiting on us to see just how persistent that we're going to be about a situation. How persistent are we going to be, amen, about being consistent in prayer? Consistent. Because what it's doing is that it's really conditioning our heart. Watch this. It's really conditioning our heart, amen. Sometimes we receive what we're asking of God, amen, and when God gives it to us, that we don't we don't pray away from God. You know, some people can't even stand to be blessed. Because the moment they get blessed, they ain't going to pray no more. Amen. They ain't going to fast no more. Yeah. That You know, they may even stop coming to church. Amen. Yeah. amen. Praise the Lord. Once God blesses them. So I'm blessed now. I'm blessed now. Guess what? I'm going to leave God alone. God gave me what I want. But the Lord does not want to bless us to the point where it causes us to separate us from his kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. And that is the, that is the great, amen, uh, 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 peace that we have to understand in our hearts. Amen. Is that, is that if I'm praying for something, is this thing, if God gives it to me, how is it going to affect my spirit? Amen. Amen? How's it going to affect my prayer life? How's it going to affect, amen, my, my ability to serve the Lord? Amen? And we have to take that into consideration. Amen. And sometimes I believe the Lord does not allow things to come into our lives because it's going to separate us from God. Amen. Amen. And watch this. God knows us, me and you, better than we know ourselves. Amen. Oh, I can handle it. How many of us have said that and went right to that situation and messed up? Amen. <laughs> the Lord says, see, I, I, I was trying to keep you from that. I was trying to keep you from that situation, but because of your own desire and lust, you went right over there and got mixed up in that. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. But now you messed up. Now I got to fix you back up. By his grace and mercy, he does wash us, mm -hmm. cleanse us, and fix us up. But the Lord's really trying to, the Lord's trying to be a good parent. And all the parents try to keep our children from going through the same thing we went through, don't we? Amen. And, but sometimes they got to go down, go down that road, don't they? Yeah. You try to keep them from that. You like, you know, you really have. To, and then when they get done, you're like, well, that's baby, that's what I was trying to keep you from. But you just, you just, you just didn't believe fat meat was greasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Praise him. You, you just didn't believe it, and now you know now, don't you? But I was trying to keep you from that. And that's what the Lord is trying to show us. Amen. Is that there's certain things that God's trying to what keep us yeah. from? Yeah. Hallelujah. You ain't got to go out into the world, praise God, and taste the world and know that you need to stay in the church. That's like saying, Noah, hey, Noah, look, the flood's going on, Noah. Why don't you get off the boat, go out there, swim a little while, and get back on the boat. There's no guarantee you're going to get back. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's why we need to, once we get in the church, we need to stay in the church. Amen. Hold on to the church as much as you can hold on to. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when you get outside of the will of God, now, guess what? You're left to the winds and the waves of the adversary. And we already know what his job is. His job is to do what? Steal, kill, and destroy. That's all he wants to do. He ain't here to play nice. He ain't here, praise God, to make you feel good. He's here for your life and your soul. <coughs> and when we realize that with the adversary, some of us will stop playing with him the way we play with him. Now he's here. He's he's he, he's in it for blood. Yeah, amen. He ain't in it just just to, just 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 to pacify you for a little while. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. But we have to understand, church. Amen. That we have to stay where God keeps us, and prayer keeps us. Amen. In the place where we are. But this man kept praying. He kept asking, and he said, because he is persistent, he will rise and give him as many as he. Needed. So the Lord is telling us, if you don't have what you need, if you don't have what you need, not what you want, if you don't have what you need, keep asking God. And he says, praise the Lord, if you keep asking God, God will show up in due season. Amen. 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 He says, in verse 9, and I ask, and he says here in verse 9, now he's talking about, this was being persistent in prayer. That's why church, you know, on the call in the morning, we're going to keep praying. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to keep praying. On the first Sunday. We're going to keep praying on Wednesday. We're going to keep praying. Amen. Because this persistency, church, 
You don't realize, church, what it's doing to God to bring about the things that we need and the kingdom of God, amen, is happening in our midst. Amen? amen. amen. Yes. I, I was thinking about uh, Job, and he would sit so long to the flesh, you know, from his own. That's what it says. I'm sure he must have been praying all that time. So sometimes you're going through, so you're going through some tests. Right. God is trying to see are you still going to be faithful. Right. So that's why you got to keep praying. You got to keep praying. Keep praying. Amen. And you know, the faithfulness is not designed to destroy you. Sometimes it's based on the call that God has on your life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We belong to the Lord. And the Lord can move us how he wants to move us. Yeah. Amen. But sometimes we have to go through situations in order for us to get to the proper, how can I put this, to the proper anointing level yes. that God needs us to do that work. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the way, and if you think about anointing, anointing is represented by what? The oil of God, right? Yes. Now, olive is the main, part of main fruit that they use to make oil. But guess what? You can't get no oil out of olive until you do what with it? Until you put some pressure on it, right? Yeah, yeah. Amen? And then the oil starts to what? Starts to flow. Yeah. So sometimes the Lord will turn up the pressure in our lives. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah. So that the oil will start to flow. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why I pray God when you're going through circumstances, situation, know that it's not here to destroy you. Praise God. A lot of times it's for God to anoint you afresh to do the work that he, that he needs you to bring about. Amen? Because each and every one of you, whether you believe it or not, you've got a work to do in this earth. Amen. Amen? Amen? And God, praise the Lord, has ordained a order in each and every one of our lives. Yeah. Though we are part of a congregation, guess what? All of us got work to do individually. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And sometimes, praise God, your work, that's why I can't compare myself to my brother and sister. Amen? Praise the Lord. Because my work is different than their work. Amen? Amen? And sometimes the things I got to go through, amen, are different than what you got to go through yeah. because God has to bring about an anointing in my life for me to be able to deal with what God is, is bringing my way. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. But know this. He's promised to never leave us nor forsake us. Yeah. So, so, so when we're under the pressures of life, under the trials and tribulations of life, under the things of God, knowing that God, praise the Lord, uh, is trying to, 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 to do a good work in us. Because we know all, we know, we know, we know that all things work together for the good. Yeah. Of them that what? Love God and are called according to his purpose. So, so don't get weary when things get tough. That's when you got to, that's when you got to dig in and pray more. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's time to back up. It's time to, it's time to step forward. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. And, and then, like I said, uh, <coughs> the tests that we, we go through, all, all of these tests are common to man. Not, nothing is, is out, you know, new under the sun. Right. And, and, and also, it, it just shows, it's measured where we're at, the test. And we either below it or, or we're above it. And if we're above it, we move on to another test. Right. And, and it's, it's just a strengthen. And if we're weak, then we pray to God to bring us up, you know, above the level that we are currently at, and, and he'll bless us. Amen. And that's and that's that's what I believe. Yes, go ahead. Yes. I, I know and I believe that God is not going to let anything come forth to you that you're going to fall. Right. If he allows it to come your way, he knows you're going to stand. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that is true. Though sometimes we do fall, but guess what? Guess what? He knew, already knew that you could really handle it. Right. But guess what? Maybe, maybe, you, maybe you, didn't, you didn't have enough confidence in yourself. Right. And sometimes lack of confidence in ourselves of who God has called us to be will keep us from doing the will of God. Mm -hmm. Who are we in God? Yeah. Well, I'm a royal priesthood. Any royal priesthood yeah. in here? Yeah. Any holy nations in here? Yeah. Any peculiar people? Yeah. Any chosen generation? Yeah. That's who you are. Yeah. You're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And the enemy's hoping, praise God, that you don't remember who you are. Amen? But when you remember who you are and you face with situations, guess what? You have a better, amen, uh, 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 you have a better opportunity to be successful than, than, than to yield to those situations. Amen? amen. amen. Praise God. All of y'all are special and precious in God's eyes. Amen? amen. 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 You are his children. He wants to see the best for each and every one of you. Amen? amen. Praise God. He says here, uh, 
uh, uh, verse 9. Look what Jesus says. So now we get the foundation of prayer. He says, And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given. Given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. So these are this is a three-step process that God is telling us. Amen. And it's constantly increasing. Ask, seek, and knock. Ask. Open your heart, open your mouth, and say something. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Seek it out. Knock. These are active attitudes and behaviors. We got to do more than just pray in our mind, church. Amen. We got to do something. Amen. We got to. Uh, James says, faith without works is what? Dead. Yeah. You got to do something. Yeah. Praise God. You got to step to the plate and swing for the fences. Amen. Praise God. Ask, seek, knock, and it shall be open to you. For he says, for everyone that asks it, does what? Receive it. Receive it. The Bible clearly says, ye have not, because you ask not. Go in and ask them a question. I need, and you'd be surprised, because guess what? This is my philosophy. I already don't have it anyway. So I'm already, I'm already at ground zero. So it can't hurt by me asking. But I know what the Bible says. I, I, I ask and shall receive. Worst thing, the only thing they can do is tell me no. <coughs> but guess what? No is is but but I but no is 50 50. So watch this. By me asking, watch this. By me asking about something, I've already increased my possibility of it happening by 50%. Y'all see that? Man. If I don't ask, I'm already at zero, right? Yeah. But if I ask, guess what? They can either say what? Yes or no. Amen. So, 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 so we see here just by opening our mouth and asking, I've already went from zero percent to fifty percent, and maybe by the grace of God, I'm up to hundred percent. So ask, open your mouth. So you know what? This is what I need. This is, oh, you know what I need? Oh, y'all need that? Guess what? They say, Pastor, what you need for the church? Guess what? I, oh, I, we need a new church building. I'm just, I'm just swinging for the fences. Mm -hmm. We need a new church building, fully furnished, with 20 classrooms, a fellow hall that seats 300, and a sanctuary that seats 500, and offices for every single one of our auxiliary li li members. Mm -hmm. so, okay, Pastor, we can get that for you. Let me look at my book, see which building is going to work for you. We don't know what people got. Yeah, Dude, we think we're asking for what? A lot. And they say, well, is that all? Well, guess what? Give me four years running budget to be able to get into that building. How about that? Amen. You know, the, I, Elisha got mad at the king because Elisha was dying, right? Y'all know, know the story. Y'all know the story, right? He told the king to take the arrow and strike it on the ground. The king only struck it on the ground three times. Elisha got mad at the king because he said, is that all you want? Just three. Man, I would have been striking, striking. I would have kept on striking till my arm got tired. <laughs> That's the way we need to pray, church. Keep praying until, amen, praise God. We weary God. But we don't weary Him. We are weary in our flesh. Praise Him. We, we get weary in our flesh because our flesh gets tired. But guess what? We have to have the mind of God that God shall supply what? All my needs. We have to understand that the earth is the Lord's and the full earth. There is no slack or lack in God. Amen. And we have to walk in that, talk in that, move in that. Yes, Lord, move us from here to some place closer where we just get drive-by visitors, build us a brand new church. Why y'all even like our strength? Let's pray to God. I don't have no problem asking God all this stuff. Amen. Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, give us all new sound equipment, all new drugs, all new pulpit. Praise God. We can, we can walk out of this place and walk right into a new place. Leave everything else here. Somebody said, God, you taking nothing? No, God gave me all new stuff. Amen. They can leave it all here. Amen. I, I, and I, got, I can prove it to you. When the church moved out of here and gave us this church, they left everything here. They left the pews, left the sound equipment. The only thing they took, I think, is their organ and their drums. All the chairs they left, then they did, did they did. Amen. All the tables they left, all the pulpit stuff they left, all the sound equipment they left, they left everything. Because they got something new from God. Amen. So why would we expect anything less? Amen. Amen? Amen? Where is your expectation of God? 
My expectation is God can do, amen, exceeding abundantly above all I can think. Oh, man, my time is up. Let me finish up here. Praise God. He says here, got to ask, church. Don't say ask. 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 Look what he says. He says, if a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he give him a scorpion? He says that if he says if ye then being evil, he's talking about being flesh, yeah. being natural, right? Mm -hmm. Evil, you know, in the mind of of the men of this day, evil was anything that was not was not of God. Mm -hmm. So he's talking about the natural man. Yeah. Know how to give what good gifts unto your children. Yeah. We know how to give good gifts to our children. No, yeah. we'll work. Watch this. This is July the second, right? Mm -hmm. In the retail world. Christmas season began yesterday. Right? It's, it's Christmas season now. So don't be surprised if you start seeing Christmas commercials. <laughs> and this stuff in the stores, right? All right. And guess what? Sometimes we labor from now till December to get what they ask for, don't we? Yeah. Because we want them really what to have because we love them. Praise Him. Amen. And, and God is saying, we know how to do that. He said, how much more Shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that what? That ask him. If you don't have the Spirit of God, the Bible says it's a gift. And a gift, you have to what? Ask. Now, why did he say the Holy Spirit? Because Jesus knows, and I want you to know, that everything you need is in the Spirit of God. Everything. Everything you need. Everything. Praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. So he 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 didn't he didn't just tell you a pseudo example. He just went straight to the source. Mm -hmm. Someone say straight to the source. Straight, straight to the source. <laughs> he just went straight to the source and let us know that you, the power of God rests and rules down on the inside of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's given us everything that pertains to life yeah. and to God. Who believes that? Amen. Amen. So guess what? If you're walking in lack in an area, if you're walking in lack in an area and you need something, if you really need, I say if you need something, I'm not talking about what you want, what your flesh wants, but if you need something, I, 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 I suggest to you, amen, put, start petitioning God about that need. Amen. And God has promised when you ask, you seek, and you knock, you shall what? You shall receive. Amen? Amen. Power of prayer, foundation of prayer, persistence in prayer, the desire and the need for prayer. Amen. God bless you. I hope someone said to encourage you today. Come on, put your hands together and give God some praise. Amen. 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 We'll turn back over to our superintendent to lead us on in Jesus' name. But church, keep on praying. We just sing a song, Don't Stop Praying, The Lord Is Not. Oh, y'all don't know that song. Let me keep on going. Y'all don't know that song. <laughs> I'll, I'll sing it one day so y'all know. <laughs> God bless you, Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Praise the Lord, Sunday school. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord, Sunday school. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. What a wonderful Sunday school lesson. Praying to God. Amen. Amen. We should always include prayer in our life. 